the sign. She she can cut it. She painted it, and I blinged it. I wanted some bling on there. My computer's way behind. My phone is right up there. Can you see the bling? I just did a little Mod Podge and sprinkled a little glitter on. And then I took my vinyl cutting machine and I named this poor girl that fell in the pot Hazel. So we've got Hazel's brew. Y'all see it okay? And then what I did, I took a piece of wood, I stapled it to the back, and then I zip tied the straight part of the candy cane frame to it. And then what I'm going to do is hang string from here and make it into a wall or a door decor. Hi Ann, how are you? I'm just looking to see if Rachel popped on. Well, I guess not. All right, we'll get started. What I'm going to do is the Woodland Ruffle. And I have some leftover mesh here I'm trying to use up. And so I didn't have enough of this, but I'm going to scatter this in between. Because this has the black, the green, and the purple. And this has the black, orange, and purple. Okay. All right, we're going to do the Woodland Ruffle. And then I cut, instead of pipe cleaners or um, zip ties, oh, thanks. We're going to use tinsel ties. I love tinsel ties. In fact, if I make a wreath, I try to use tinsel ties. Because I have a bunch of stuff here that we're going to add to the tails. So I wanted something long enough that I could use to attach the tails. Um, I even tried little styrofoam balls. I was going to try and make bubbles sticking up, but that uh, design crashed. So. so we're just doing, these are 18 inches. We're just using, we're doing the woodland ruffle. And if my calculations are correct, we should be able to get 10 on here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to hang the bow from here and drape it over, or if I'm going to tie it to the tie that's going to hold, hold it at the top. Hey, tequila. That's my girl. If any of you do wreathing, you need to join Tequila's D-Stash group. You can get a lot of bargains or go ahead and sell some of your stuff that you're not using. It's unbereathable um, D-Stash. Got a half of a candy cane here, we chopped off. So we're just using the rail, the straight part as a rail. So I have a lot of candy canes. And this is leftover mesh that I had from projects. This was actually from my witch hat kit. And I'm not sure what I used that on. Don't recall. And then we're using 12 inch tinsel ties. This black really blends in nice. And I 
staple design to the back and then zip tied the rail to the bottom of the board. Thank you, Tequila, for putting that on. It is free to join. And there's a lot of bargains on there. I've sold a lot of my excess Halloween ribbon. Um, what else? I think that's been it so far. Oh, some of my signs. <coughs> a lot of neat stuff. I even post my funny craft things on there at times. Everybody needs a good laugh in the morning, right? Hi, Jean. Nana's stew would be good. This is actually a sign made from one of, uh, one of the girls in our group. She painted it, hand painted it. Free shipping, $25 for the sign. And that's awesome. I blinged it and put um, put some um, vinyl on there from my cutting machine. I named her Hazel. Hazel didn't have such a good day. And I'm using two types of ribbon, doing or two types of mesh, 10-inch mesh using the woodland ruffle method. And I only have four pieces of the one, so what I'm trying to do is even it out here. So I'm gonna put another one of these make it look uniform. I know, right? Rachel was setting her clock to come on because I didn't tell her ahead of time what I was doing with the sign. I wanted to surprise her. So, maybe she fell asleep. <laughs> or maybe she's busy making more signs. She probably got a ton of orders in last night. That would be awesome. She makes, um, she just got done designing a witch hat. She also made a Frankenstein. There was this one, and I think there was another one. But we're trying to get her to 50 sales, because her husband said if she, if she sells 50 of these signs, he's gonna buy our CNC machine. And that would be awesome for us, because she can do everything with that sign. So we're all excited. We're trying to help her get there. Because he's not going to live this one down. She's gone for it. She hand paints them, hand cuts them, sands it down after she cuts it, before she paints it. Yay! There she is. Okay, you ready? I blinged it, and I named her. We gave her the name Hazel. I'm sitting here talking you up, girl, trying to get you more, more sales. And then, see, I just stapled it to a piece of wood. I cut the curve off of the um, candy cane, so I attached the rail at the bottom of the wood. Are you happy with her? Hi, Sandy. Oh, no. My Mevo card is full. So we might have some problems. Shoot. If we get cut off... <laughs> I am so glad. I was so nervous. I thought if she doesn't like this, I'm in trouble. But I'm telling everybody about your signs. Tequila loved it. Now there's a witch hat, the Frankenstein, the witch, 
the witch's pot, and what's the other one? Isn't there one more? Thank you, Sandra, for blessing my page. I was trying so hard yesterday, Rachel. I was trying to make bubbles to make it 3D. And I wasn't happy with it. So I cut all these styrofoam balls and pom-poms and then changed my mind and glittered it. But she needed a name. So Hazel she is. <laughs> Rachel, put a link on there to your Etsy store where your signs are, girl. We got to get you more sales because we got to get you that CNC machine. Christmas is coming soon. And we need some Christmas signs. We need to get you going. All right, so took a total, this is the last one I'm putting on, so there's a total of 10 pieces of 10-inch um, mesh cut at 18 inches here. So I used up, well, I have two more pieces left, but for the majority, I used up what excess I had. How's that? Before we put on the, the tails. Isn't that cute? And look at that bling. We got bling. We love bling. I even have three little bats here that I'm going to put on. I also thought I would put her, I have a hat here that to me looks great with the size of her legs. So I thought I'd make it look like her hat fell off and she fell in. How's that? So I can put that in here. Frankie Candy Corn Ghost Witch Hat and Witch Cauldron. There you go. Put your link, baby. We want it up there. Now trying to find a way to attach this. I think what I'll do is I'll hot glue some of this to the back. <gasps> oh, a pumpkin temporary. That'll be neat. There's her shop, so if you want to buy a sign, that's where you go. She does free shipping, hand cuts it, hand paints it, come on. Maybe I'll, I know what I'll do. I'm going to put some of this around the hat, or the brim of the hat. That's what we need to do. Bling out the hat a little. I don't want to burn my finger. Already done that. There you go. Rachel's got all her links on there. All right, see? That looks like it matches her, her legs. It's perfect size. So we're just going to put that over here somewhere. But we'll do our tails first. I have this one that has witch's hats on it. And um, cats and pumpkins and then I'm going to use this one this is one I used with the witch kit it has that glitter in it okay <gasps> she's running a sale 15% off hurry we got to get her up to how many do you have sold already Rachel She needs 50 to get that machine. Come on, guys. Let's help her. Let's 
we got to help Rachel because it'll help us in the long run. <laughs> She'll have some cool stuff at Christmas. And I think a noom is on the list. Now, I don't know. I may go up with one color and down with the other color. Sorry, that's scraping on my glass. We'll just do it like that. Yeah, we'll go down with one and up with the other. I like it. Thank you, Karen. Do I have an echo? All right. Let me try and just make sure that my volume is turned off. Well, I have the thing plugged in and I have the volume turned off on here. So I'm not sure why that's happening. Yay! I'm going to be making some gnomes. I got fabric and everything in. It's going to be the red and, and turquoise. Rachel, are you getting an echo? I'm just hoping my... Uh, Nebo doesn't quit. Told me the card's full. For those of you just jumping on, I blinged out the sign I got from Rachel. And I added Hazel's Brew to it with my vinyl cutter. There are 10 pieces of mesh in here, 10 inch mesh, cut at 12 inches. Thank you. And we used a straight part of a Dollar Tree candy cane. I cut the curve off, as you can see from the back. One set of tails going up and one set of tails going down. If you can all spread the love. I'd really appreciate it. At the top of the comments, I pinned all my uh, links. 
you want to be notified when I go live, you have to um, go to the one that says M, it says HTTP backward slash backward slash M period me period. That's how you register on my bot. All you do is type in live and when it sends you a message, just type in get started. Hi Lori. See what we did to Rachel's sign? We blinged it and gave her a name. And then I cut off the curved part of the candy cane and we're using that as the rail. Thank you. And we're telling everybody to go buy a sign from Rachel. Thank you, Joanne. I've made frames out of wood, frames out of the candy canes. In fact, I may even cut a unique in the creek board in half and work on one of those. So we did the woodland ruffle, 10 inch mesh, cut it 18 inches, used up leftover mesh. There's 10 pieces on here. And then we're going to make a bow. We've got some bats to add. We've got a hat. We want it to look like her hat fell off. This, was, this hat was from A.C. Moore, and it just seemed to me like it fit her. I really can't handle doing something when the proportions don't look right. <laughs> and then I can... Um, staple a piece of rope up here and hang the bow from here or I can put it here and have it go down. So either way I think we're good. But let's figure out where we're going to put her hat. we got to make it look like it fell off when she fell in. Poor Hazel. Alright, so we got her hat on there. Let's see. Yeah, that'll stay. May have to tack it with a little glue right there. But Then we have three little bats to put in here. So maybe I'll work on the bow next. And then we'll see. I had bought these pom-poms because I was going to try and put them on where the bubbles are to make it look like it's bubbling over and then have the bubbles cascade down. But it wasn't... It didn't look the way I wanted it to look. Then I tried taking these little styrofoam balls and cutting them in half, and that didn't look right. So this is what I ended up with. <laughs> You'll have that sometimes. You have a design in your head, and it just doesn't look right. All right, we'll start on the bow. And I'm going to use my Pro Bow. I feel like I can get a better grip on it. And I don't attach my wire to here, I just run it through. And then I do a um, zip tie at the end. Stick some tubing on here too. Let's stick some tubing. I think 
will just stick tubing in the bow. And because there's a lot of orange, I'm going to break it up with the purple and the green. So, let's start with this color first. set this up. I just can't get that whole thing here. I don't do well with it, so this is my version. You can do it the way you've been taught, but this just works for me. So I can get it closer. So how many how many signs do you have left to go, Rachel? How many more we got to get you? Say a prayer for my girlfriend. She was in surgery today. You sold 32. All right, we're getting there. That's great. She went in for back surgery today, and she's in recovery now. So we are very hopeful that She's fixed. She had a herniated disc. Two bulging discs and a herniated disc. And that's the one that was chipping away and causing all the problem. So. Just say a little prayer. And a little prayer for Jackie's family. Jackie passed away. She was in our reefing community. And today is kind of a sad day. I lost my mother three years ago today. So, here are you. Just can't believe it was another year. But she's the main reason I'm doing this. She made wreaths all the time. And I didn't I never really I did deco mesh quite a few years ago, but not florals. She would dry the flowers and all kinds of stuff. Um, so, when she passed away, we had to clean out her apartment. I bought all her wreath stuff here. And that was in August that she passed. So, at Christmas time, I took out a couple of her wreaths. And I revamped them. 
and gave them to my boys as Christmas presents. It was just something that she had made that I kind of, um, you know, changed it up a little. And uh, they were really thrilled to get them. So I'm going to add this to a little pop. So it will, you know, so she still has a piece of them. And now it's a piece of me, too. So it's kind of special. We didn't always see eye to eye on everything. But at the end, she knew I loved her, and I knew she loved me, and all the decisions she made along the way were for the best. So, I wish you had one more day, you know? I thought she was coming home. And I was getting her apartment already, and then they called to say she's back in the hospital and she's not going to make it. So, you really don't have time to think. <clears throat> so, we've managed, but it hasn't been an easy road. She missed both my boys getting married. Now, I think I'm going to put one more ribbon on here. <coughs> end with this. Yeah. They loved it too, Rachel. She did one with pheasant feathers that was just out of this world, real pheasant feathers. And my son just purchased a new home and he has it in his family room. And it is gorgeous. Hey, Dawn. You're not late. It's okay. You gotta get ready. I'm gonna add some tubing to the bow. And I think we got enough orange, so we're just gonna concentrate on these two colors. end up cutting this out, but we're going to give it a shot. We won't know until we try. I took Rachel's sign, Dawn, and blinged it and added Hazel's brew. She looked like a Hazel. Now we're putting the bow on. We used, I used the candy cane and I cut the curve off of it. I used that for my rail. Stapled the sign to a piece of wood and then attached it to the rail. And we used two 
10 pieces of 10 inch mesh cut at 18 inches woodland ruffle so we used up some um, leftover mesh and now we're just doing the bow And Rachel has 32 signs sold. So we need to get her, what, 18 more sales? Yeah, here's the back. I was trying to make 3D bubbles. I was trying to cut these up, but it didn't go the way I wanted it. So I blamed. All right, let's stretch out this baby and then decide where we're going to put it and where we're going to put our bats. to my favorite place today and I got some more stuff for Second Chance Saturday so make sure you watch I'll be adding that a new segment to Second Chance Saturday on Saturday morning I snuck it in there Friday night and some people already got a jump so <laughs> Hi, Doreen. Hi, Rita. Welcome. And prayers needed for Jackie's family. They're going through a difficult time. And my girlfriend is in recovery right now. She's had back surgery. So asking for prayers. Hello, Liz. That's okay. Welcome. Where are you watching from? Do you do wreathing or do you just watch wreaths being made? There's so many different ribbons on here and some are firm and some aren't and just giving me a rough time. Dallas, Texas. Back in the late 70s, 
I lived in Abilene, El Campo, Wharton, originally from PA. Now, do we want the bow in the middle of the rail or do we want it up here? What's your thoughts? Up here or down here? Okay, hon. Thank you. Well, hello, Kara or Sierra. I can't see that far. <laughs> Kara, where are you watching from? You like it in the middle, Dawn? I think that the tubing looks kind of cute in there. I like it. You know, I just got to even it out. Yeah, it gives it another little bling. All right, Dawn says she likes it in the middle. So that's where we're going. In the middle. Wow, this is easy to find the middle on. Welcome from Florida. Usually, Levon's on, and she lives in Florida. Thank you, Rach. Yes. Don't you know it? Okay, I gotta turn this around so I can see what I'm doing here. Somebody needs to invent easy grip flyer. <laughs> that's what I struggle with all the time. And what I'll do is I will cut it, but I will also cover this area with a piece of ribbon because I've got the zip ties there that are holding this in place. So I think if I do that, okay. boy, we are blinged. I love it. We added some tubing to the middle of the bow just to give it another little pizzazz, some more pizzazz. We got bling, 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 bling. And then we've got our hat over here. I'm going to attach it, secure it there. And then we have three bats we can add here was so funny. I bought these in like the reduced bin at AC Moore and they only had two. And when I was back there yesterday, I found a third. So now I've got three. They were actually reduced to 50 cents. Isn't that awesome? All right. The one had some eyes missing. One eye. So we fixed that. These bats pop off. Really easy, so we're going to really secure them in there. Hi, Cecilia. Thank you. Hi, Sherry. Who did I miss? Anybody else? All right, so I think what it will do is we'll put one of these on each end and one here in the middle. I don't know if I'm going to add any more. 
I mean, I had all these little, I could, but I don't think I'm going to, because I think I like it just the way it is. I don't know. I could. They look kind of cute. I don't think so. I think we're just going to stick with the plain and simple. We've got a broken wing. we got to fix it. There we go. No, I may have to move her hat to the middle. Where are you watching from, Stacy? Welcome. Do you wreath or do you just watch wreaths being made? Okay, I think we're good. I had Rachel post a, a link to her page because that's where I got the sign. We glittered it, put Hazel's brew on it. Thank you, Sherry. And then we attached this to, I cut up a Dollar Tree candy cane and used it as the rail. I don't think it needs any more, except I'll hang a piece of rope here. Or I could attach the rope down further so you don't even see it. Thank you, Rita. I think that's what I'll do. I'll put the I'll actually take a zip tie and attach it to the wood. There we go. I think we're done. It's a winner. I'll mess with it. I may add some more, or again, I may not. There's the back end again, so you can all see it. I just stapled the sign to the wood, then attached the wood to the rail with zip ties. We used 10, 10 pieces of mesh, 10 inch wide, did the woodland ruffle. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, Rachel. I didn't show the rail part, Dawn. I just went and drilled um, six holes in the wood and then zip tied it to the rail. Thank you, Liz. Just a different take on Rachel's cauldron. And like I said, if you guys order signs, Rachel's link is on there. Then we did um, 12 inch tails. And I'm gonna attach a, a hanger on the wood so I don't have it coming up top here. I think that's just 
the way I want it. I don't want anything visible up here. And I was a little concerned about this being orange, the wood. And I thought, well, if worse comes worse, I can go back and paint it black. But I think everything's pretty much covered it. So I like it just the way it is. Thank you, Rachel. And then we went ahead and used up, look, I only got two pieces left. So I used up some leftover mesh from two other projects. That wasn't too bad, time-wise. Didn't take that long at all. The prep work is what takes the longest. And then just go ahead and make sure you, if you want to be notified when I go live, in the comments at the top, there's the, um, it says M period ME. If you go ahead there, you can um, subscribe to my bot. Just put it, type in live, and when it answers you back, type in get started, and then you'll be notified when I go live. I go live Monday nights at 6.45 and Wednesdays at 2. And then Saturday, I post to my um, YouTube channel, Second Chance Saturday. I take an item that I found at a local thrift store and I change it into something else. So, thank you, Rita. Thank you, Kara. All right, you guys, I appreciate you coming by. I appreciate you sharing. And look forward to seeing you again when I go on. I got glitter everywhere. In my kitchen, on me. <laughs> Stuff's hard to get rid of. All right, guys, I'll see you, and thank you. Have a good day.